say thank you. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Yes, you've made it through just about another day. Relate, relax, release. This is still the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How are you doing? So grateful to see you on this thoughtful Tuesday evening. Again, yes, you're making it through another day. To God be the glory. How are things going? Uh, my prayer is that uh, all is well with you and yours. Uh, God is blessing us here um, as you have joined uh, with us and the Mighty Fortress in another thoughtful Tuesday, something to help you think, uh, to get you along the way. Uh, remember, um, as the word says, iron sharpens iron. So we're here uh, man, to get those tools sharpened uh, so you can keep on keeping on. You know, there's a song that we sing, uh, you know, fight on. Um, you know, I don't care what you're doing, keep your sword in your hand. And you fight on. I hear it. You fight on. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, we'll get into that later, all right? Uh, let's take this moment as you're joining in. As I've stated before, please share, start a watch party. Um, let individuals know um, that Dr. Lee and the Mighty Fortress is on. Uh, continue to subscribe to our YouTube pages um, that you'll be able uh, to get notification when we come up, um, as well as Instagram, Twitter, uh, Periscope. Oh, and thank you for joining us right here on Facebook. As we are grateful um, to see some of you popping up now, take this moment. Uh, we want to hear your prayer requests. We want to hear your prayer concerns. Um, those of you who have praise reports, thank you. For some of you who have even joined us virtually to become a part of our church family. Um, so whatever your needs and your desires, please take this opportunity to share those this evening um, as we prepare uh, to touch and agree. The scripture says that if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I'll hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and hear their land. Let's talk to heaven. Our most kind, gracious, and all-wise God, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us uh, safely through another day. Lord, there's so many needs that uh, we're asking you to meet right now. Only you can do it because you are God, and beside you there is none other. Lord, for those that are even searching and those that are contemplating so many things that be, be derogatory to their own lives that would uh, denigrate and relegate uh, themselves in a lower space and place, we ask that you lift them up, that you allow them uh, to feel their worth in you. Um, change hearts and minds from darkness to light. Uh, bring, Lord, from those out of sadness, Lord, into happiness. Only you can do that. You've done it for others. You will, you, I know that you'll do the same for them. Now, as we prepare to share a thought, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, and we give you all the glory. Uh, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful technology to reach the masses. Uh, we ask that you continue to use us for your glory, and we'll be careful to give your name praise. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, type in amen, 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 and amen. Again, take this moment. Uh, to like, to share, um, set up those hearts. Thank you. Uh, we're constantly and consistently reviewing um, all of the comments that you share. We thank God for you. A very interesting thought on this Tuesday um, that we want to share with you. Um, let us go to the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 1 and beginning with verse 1. Let's read that together. The Lord spoke to Moses in the tent of meeting in the desert of Sinai on the first day of the second month of the second year after the Israelites came out of Egypt. He said, take a census of the whole Israelite community by their clans and families, listing every man by name one by one. You and Aaron are to count according to their divisions, all the men in Israel who are 20 years old or more and able to serve in the army. One man from each tribe each of them, the head of his family, is to help you. Ah, we want to share with you this evening um, the thought, something to, for you to think on. Plan to plan. Plan to plan. What we see here 
is so interesting and something that's the same thing that is taking place in our nation when we deal with the census. The census is not just uh, to number how many people are in your household, but the census is also to help in planning and developing uh, within our local communities, state, and federal governments uh, needs and resources uh, that they can employ uh, to where we are. It shares in representation within government, uh, but most importantly, it helps us plan for the future. Same situation was happening uh, with Moses and the nation of Israel, um, that they took the time and the opportunity to go forth in a census because they needed young men to serve in the army. They needed leaders of those tribes to be able to communicate information um, both thoroughly and succinctly. And it's so important, even in life, if you desire to accomplish anything during this season, and yes, you will get some things accomplished. Yes, you will. Yes, yeah, yeah, type that in, yes. Yeah, you're gonna get some things accomplished, uh, w whether it's, you know, and, and besides just weight loss, there are some other things that you need to get accomplished. But in order to do that, you need to have what we call goals. You need to have and set before you uh, those things that can help you achieve them. Now, let me tell you this. A goal without a plan is just a wish. How many of you are tired of wishing this and wishing that? So therefore, if we got goals, we need to have a plan. So what is a goal? What, what does goals do? I'm glad you asked. Goals are motivational. Goals are measurable. But also, goals are memorable. So you need to set a goal that is motivational, that, that you're going to be passionate about, something that's going to motivate you, push you to get it accomplished. Um, you need to set a goal um, that is measurable, that you need a timeline. Um, again, as I've stated before, you need to plan your work and work your plan. So you need a timeline, you need a time frame. Uh, you need to give yourself some due dates. Um, also memorable, um, that as you reach certain milestones, you need to make sure that you congratulate yourself uh, and make sure that you acknowledge those things. Because again, um, I don't care what 2020 has dealt any of us. Um, as one of our deacons have consistently tells me, um, the worst of times is also the best of times. So always remember that, that during this season, um, develop and set those goals. So now as you begin to plan, it is most important, uh, I wanna share this with you, um, that when you plan, make sure um, that you evaluate your situation. See, you need to understand situation, S-I-T-U-A-T-I-O-N, it starts off SIT. Your situation, you need to evaluate where you're currently sitting. You know, where you sit is where you evaluate. Um, again, sometimes we got to face the brutal facts of our own reality that we may not be where we desire to be or where we need to be. But if we evaluate our current situation, God will take us where He desires for us to be, okay? So always uh, don't count yourself short. And don't get upset, uh, again, we talked about this before, about comparing yourself or your life to other individuals, all right? So as you are now uh, planning to plan, understand that if you deserve it, the universe will serve it. So when you are putting in the effort, when you are putting in the sweat equi equity, so you got to understand, and I've said this before, a lot of us want the perks, but we don't want to pay the price. Duh. You know, you got to put in um, some sweat equity in this thing. Um, as I've stated before, you, you, got, you got to work this thing. Uh, James says, faith without works is dead. So, you know, you talking about, I got faith, but you ain't got no works. I've said this to the congregation before, you need to faith your work and work your faith. Uh, because again, when you do that, God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, okay? Remember, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, but you got to work this thing, you know, and if you don't work it, it will work you.
<laughs> I'm here to tell you. And so as you are planning to plan, then you begin to understand what vision is. Um, see, um, if you can't seize it, you know, then you'll never see it. I will say it again. If you can't seize it, you will never see it. And that is what's so important in life that I get excited that when I began to plan and, and then I began to become flexible um, in my methods, but I never changed my goal. I've learned in life, as is stated here, um, that see, anyone can steer the ship, but it takes a visionary, it takes a leader to chart the course. And when you have sat down and you began to plan where God is getting ready to take you and how he's going to take you, you get so excited um, that you become the master of your fate. So stop giving and putting the keys of happiness in somebody else's pocket. Reach back, get them jokers back, and begin to work your plan and to plan your work. I hope I've given you enough to think about. Matter of fact, I've gotten so excited I need to go back and think over some things my own self, all right? Because this thing is real. Because I've said it before and I'll say it again. We are planning to get out of what we're going through currently. We're planning to get out of this pandemic. I said it before, God may not come when we want him, but he's always on time. Remember, remember that. He operates uh, in Kairos and not Kronos. Kronos is chronological time. We're gonna say 30 days and we're out, it's been months and we're still going through this thing. But Kairos, one day, and God's eyesight is like a thousand years. <sighs> That's refreshing. Take this moment and this opportunity now um, to share uh, in a desire for you to become a part of the mighty fortress. That may be your plan to get a church home and have a church home. Well, I'm here to be a part of your plan. Let's plan to plan together. Share these words with you. Dear Lord, I am a sinner. I'm asking you today to become the head of my life. Please forgive me from all of my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me. And three days later, you were raised from the grave. And because I believe today, I am saved. Now, Lord, please fill me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, type in, I'm saved. Amen. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm excited. If this is your first time, thank you for being a part the body of Christ. Now, take this moment to share in the 3T ministry. What is that? The time, the title, and the tithe. When St. John, the mighty fortress. There are several ways to give to support the ministries of St. John Baptist Church, the mighty fortress, your time, talent, and tithe. We've made virtual giving so easy. Just text St. John SAV to 73256 and follow the prompts. That's St. John SAV. 73256 and follow the prompts. Or you can call the number right on your screen to speak to someone and give your credit card information. 912-844-1872. That's 912-844-1872. Or feel free to mail in your cash, donations, and tithes to St. John Baptist Church, The Mighty Fortress, 2415 East Durand Avenue, Savannah, Georgia, 31406. And to give your time and talent or to find out more information on everything going on at St. John, The Mighty Fortress, including our virtual worship experiences, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Periscope, or go to stjohnsavannah.org. Ah, blessings. Blessings to you and your household. Thank you so much for being a part of the 3T ministry of the Mighty Fortress. Now, sit back, uh, relate, relax, and release once again as you share in the sights and the sounds of none other than St. John, the Mighty Fortress.
Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, you got an opportunity to see some of you up in there. Uh, thank you for those who have shared uh, your pics of St. John the Mighty Fortress in action. And if you have uh, some wonderful pictures that you would like to share of ministry at work here at St. John, All Is Well Caravan, please send your pictures in to the information on your screen and you will see yourself in Thoughtful Tuesday. Thank you. God's blessings to peace and love be upon you. Always remember to share uh, with us and the Mighty Fortress daily now for Mighty Fortress Moments. Uh, just a little word to get you a long life's way. We're grateful for those of you who tuned in to 99.7 WSOK as you've listened to us on tonight. Uh, we're on every Tuesday night there. Um, and again, morning manna. Yeah, you need some manna. You need some bread to get you started on Sunday mornings uh, right here uh, joining you. <laughs> the drive-in worship service, it's been phenomenal. We're so grateful. So many of you are, are coming out. You know, I, it's just in the hundreds. And I, I thank God for you. And I thank God for your commitment um, in helping us think outside of the box. Um, because remember, uh, worshiping God has nothing to do with the building. Um, it is about our spirits connecting with His and connecting with one another. Um, sometimes you just need to get out the house and see something different. Come and sit next to somebody else's car, you know, wave at their dog and cat, you know, as they're waving at your dog and cat, you know, the goldfish, you know, whomever you are, come as you are in the family car every Sunday, 10 a.m., 2415 East Thurland Avenue, the soul of Savannah. Uh, we look forward to seeing you as we worship in spirit and in truth. I'll see you on Instagram, on Periscope, uh, on Twitter, um, as well as YouTube. Please subscribe and share with others and follow us so you can always be up to date with what's going on. For more information, join us at www.stjohnsavannah.org that you'll be able to share in your time and your talent with the Mighty Fortress. Until we meet again, always remember, plan to plan. Uh, be faithful but also during the season be flexible. And until we meet again, always remember that all is well. Oh, we are the praise today because you are worthy. We lift our hands to say thank you.